vulnerable woman who put her trust in Dr. Chris Warner, a doctor who thinks he's God. We got what we came for. Yeah, bankruptcy, once my lawyers are finished with you. Cheers, Chris. You just made my job a whole lot harder. Any communication from now on can be done via email, where I don't have to look at you or listen to that smug and slightly annoying voice. We just need some tumbleweeds. Well, it's our first day open. Give the people a chance to get sick, eh? I was under the impression when I joined this clinic there was an established client base. There is. And a dental practice. But I haven't seen the hide nor hair of this Henry fellow. Has he paid rent yet? It's none of your business. Which means no. Sorry, sorry. Car problems. All fixed now. What's that smell? I had to wash the spark plugs in petrol. I must have spilt some on me. Nurse by day, mechanic by night? Something like that. <laughs> well, clean up and get back here pronto. We can't have you stinking out the place, even if you have no patience. Be right back. You could go easier on her, you know. It wasn't her fault. That's debatable. There are some people who constantly create drama. You wait. If it's not a broken down car, it'll be something else tomorrow. She set me up. She's a journalist and a woman scorned. So it's my fault. I invited you out for a drink so you could make me feel better, not tell me I had it coming. Fair point. Top up. I take it you found out on your own. I tried to tell you. Yeah, you've already said enough. I especially like the bit where you said it's a surgeon's job to fall into bed with his colleagues. I didn't say that. Pretty much. Ursula sent me a rough draft of the doc over. Which she doctored, no doubt. I was trying to defend you. I did defend you. Well, next time, no comment. Will be plenty. Thanks. Hey, mate. Hey, catch you later. Didn't go so well, then. Uh, I'll add him to the apology list right after Rachel. You heard about that, too? Everyone's heard. Will he feel anything when they turn the machines off? I don't think so. He'll pass away peacefully in theatre. What? Ben was registered as an organ donor. Oh, that. I talked to Dr. Burrows and I said, no way. I'm not letting them divvy him up. Ben felt quite strongly about this, Anita. Oh, it's still my decision, though, right? Mm. I mean, no one really means it when they take that little box on their licence. Ben was an ambo. Well, are you registered as a donor and mean it? Yes. It doesn't matter. I am burying my brother in one piece, that's it. It's okay. It's your decision. I'll pop back later. I just can't stand the thought of them cutting him up. It's butchery. I understand. There's no need to explain. How did that happen? And you do everything Troy tells you to? No, you can bus. I'm working now. Straight home after detention, please. <clears throat> Gotta go. Assuming you have no more personal calls to make, you can ring through this order. I need these supplies first thing tomorrow. Sorry, my son got... If you'd like to come through, Mr. Walton. Hey, Wendy, do you know how to do an oral canal irrigation? Yes. I mean, I've never done one before, but I know all about them. You use a pulsed jet water system to remove the wax. Go on. It's contraindicative with patients with tinnitus, perforated eardrums or children under 13. Well done, Nursey Swat. <laughs> I read about it last night. Can't be too prepared, right? Especially when I've been out of uniform for a while. We should tee up some practical sessions for you. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. I'd invite you in, but I thought we were keeping to our own sides from now on. So I have to grovel from the doorway? I didn't get you out of bed, did I? The shower? I thought you said you were here grovel. I had no right to go off at you like that. It was my mistake, and I was wrong to blame it on you. You were out of line, but not exactly off the mark. I should never have agreed to that program or stolen those cards. Oh, imagine if you hadn't. Well, you'd still be here groveling. 
for your job. <laughs> I guess I just felt a bit protective of you, given the whole Ursula thing. Really? I know how it is with us. We fight, things become personal, motivations become clouded. But they shouldn't. It's my fault as much as it was yours. I guess it's just something we both need to work on. Agreed. So, for the spat and triage, apology accepted? This time, yes. So, are you up to a damage control meeting tomorrow, 12-ish? I'll bring the food. A cool head will be fine. As long as you don't go on about how many lives Ben's heart and kidneys and so on could save. Eight? Ten? If I did, you'd have every right to complain and I could lose my job. So I'm safe then, because I know that you're gagging too, really. It's hardly fair if I did. It's a lot you're going through. When I got here, I didn't know what to expect. I thought that Ben might be all injured and nasty wounds and everything. And he was just Ben. <laughs> and I, I know I, now that he's really gone. I just need some time. Has Dr. Burrows told you how Ben is? How he's doing? Okay, only because I don't want you to look back and have this huge regret, and because I know you are going to say yes soon, but soon may not be soon enough. And I owe Ben so much. You're gonna put your future, your job, on the line for him. No need. I I think I know what you're gonna say. Soon Ben's organs are gonna start packing in, and then they won't be any use to anybody. And then he'll haunt me for the rest of my days. Yeah. I'll call Dr. Burrows. You call Yvonne. Wendy here will see you right. Uh, a flu vaccination for Mrs. Lamont, please. Right away. You don't qualify for the free vaccination, so it's going to be another $20 on top of a consultation fee. Oh. Well, to be honest, you're not a high risk for influenza. Vitamin C and garlic should see you right through the winter. That's what I do. OK. Thanks. So that's just 45 for the appointment. Thank you. Didn't I just tell you to get her a flu shot? She didn't qualify for the free vaccination. And? And she couldn't afford the extra $20, so I recommended she take regular vitamin C and garlic instead. Fine. Have those supplies come in yet? I forgot to order them. I'll do it right now. That woman's doing my head in. What now? She forgot to order the supplies I asked her to. Well, that's an honest mistake. But then she had the nerve to suggest a vitamin treatment plan to a patient instead of the flu shot I'd organised. Well, that's the patient's choice at the end of the day. It's not Wendy's job to present choices to my patients. It's my job. Yep, you're right. Not only has she cost the clinic money by doing this, she is undermining my professional opinion, and that I won't stand for. I will have a word with you. Thank you. And if that word happens to be fired, all the better. 